hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to answer the question is stripe atlas good for my business now if you're a non-us resident and you want to get access to stripe you must have stumbled on stripe atlas so we're going to discuss the pros and cons of using stripe atlas as a means to get access to stripe so first of all what is stripe atlas so stripe atlas is a program that was created by stripe the payment processing company to help non-us citizens and non-us residents who don't have access to stripe or stripe does not support their countries in order for them to get access to stripe by opening an llc in the us but here are some things that you should know about stripe atlas before you consider using it for your business and if you stay tuned till the end of the video i'm going to explain alternative methods of getting the same outcome so first off, if you go through Stripe Atlas, you have to go through an application process where you fill out your details and then you send your application over to Stripe and then they will determine whether or not, based on the information that you fill out, whether they want to approve you to use their Stripe Atlas service. The good part is that once you get approved, they'll complete the procedure and you get guaranteed access to Stripe. Now the downside is that Stripe Atlas has to approve your application. If they don't approve your application, you cannot open your company and you cannot get access to stripe the second thing to consider about stripe atlas is that stripe only registers companies in delaware specifically and they only register corporations so these are called c corporations in delaware and the reason for this is because stripe atlas was truly designed to cater to founders in the SaaS industry. So people who are starting software or creating startups that intend to go after VC funding. So if you've heard of Y Combinator and if you've heard of Angel Investors, think along those lines. So the people who use Stripe Atlas are usually people that are starting or creating businesses that will eventually need um, VC founders to come and invest into their businesses for an exchange of shares or whatever the case may be. And then in order for them to do that, especially if they are not U.S. citizens or U.S. residents, using a U.S. company encourages these um, investors to be able to invest in their company. Now, um, okay, you might be thinking, but I heard that Delaware, Delaware is a good place for me to register my business. It's not a bad place to register your business, but if you're a small business that is just starting out, you may want to consider that the cost of registering in Delaware is slightly higher than most other states. And unlike a U.S. citizen, you actually have the opportunity to select what state you want to register your business. The second thing to consider is Delaware has state annual fees that are that cost 300 USD per year, irrespective of whether you made money in your business or whether you sold anything, no matter what happens, you will be expected to pay that state annual fee of $300 compared to some other states like New Mexico or Wyoming, which have much lower fees. And the third thing is that since Stripe Atlas is creating a C-Corp for you, it means that your entire company will be based on shares. So your company is going to have a number of shares which you will determine while registering the business and then you will sell a portion of that to your investors or share it among the people that are going to be members inside of your company. Now there's nothing wrong with having a company that has shares or the, or the C-Corporation business entity. The thing is that as a small business owner, if you're just starting out, one of the things to consider is during your federal tax filings you're going to be filing more papers and number two you may be subject to double taxation this is where you're taxed as a company and then you're taxed on your personal income the one that you receive as dividends from the c corporation now when you think about it as um when you think about it as someone who wants to form a company to get access to Stripe because you want to sell your courses or you want to sell your digital products, or if you're a freelancer and you just want to be able to charge your clients, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. And I will agree that it's not worth it creating a whole company with shares and um, board of directors and all these other obligations that come with a C Corp, which is why... I do not recommend Stripe Atlas for small business owners. I only recommend Stripe Atlas if you're looking to create a SaaS or a VC funded company. For the rest of us who just want to be able to charge our clients and collect payments with ease, I actually recommend forming an LLC because an LLC has numerous benefits. It's much simpler to form and it requires less upfront fees and it's much easier to manage. And even if you were to go through Stripe Atlas for your LLC, they will only form in Delaware, which restricts you 
among all the 50 plus states in the US to only be able to go through the Delaware route, which is why I recommend that um, Stripe Atlas is not perfect for you if you are not one of the two people I mentioned earlier. So what do you do if you want to form a company because you want to get access to Stripe? There are a few ways that you can do. You can Number one, do the DIY route where you figure out how to fill out the forms, apply for your company registration, your EIN and all these things. Or you could hire professional services like ours at Alpha Finance and we'll help you create your LLC, we'll apply for your EIN, we'll help you get bank accounts and even your Stripe account. All of this, you have to, you don't need to do anything other than filling out the form that we require once your payment is complete. And then once you give us those details, we'll be able to start the procedure of registering your company on your behalf. So if you're interested in that, you want to check out the link in the description. We'll give you all the details. If you have any questions, you can talk to one of the people on my team and they will help you get started. So in case you were wondering if Stripe Atlas is good for your business, I hope this has helped clarify it for you and I'll see you in my next video.